this is insulated hand glove tester uh, this is the full system where we can test hand gloves by uh, injecting high voltage up to 20 kV and it have a capacity of uh, up to 100 milliampere so uh, these are all the buckets uh, there are 8 buckets that means 4 pair of gloves can be tested at a time so uh, this is customizable uh, as per customer requirement we can test uh, 2 pair of gloves as well as 3 pair of gloves as well as 1 pair of gloves also so here you can see these are the gloves here uh, we are putting the water inside the gloves and also outside the gloves in the bucket so if the if any of the gloves failed then the uh, the uh, these high voltage will pass through this water and it will be uh, tripped uh, then and there so uh, here uh, this is the control panel where this is the main switch uh, these two are uh, fuse protection this is the main indication lamp uh, this is the input side voltmeter, this is output side KV meter, this is leakage current meter for number 1 to number 4 sa sample and this is leakage current meter for number 5 to number 8 sample. So uh, this will show you 4 uh, values, consecutive values and this will show you the after that 5 to 8 values. So uh, and this is the selector switch where you can show the uh, so from 1 2 3 4 4 uh, number 1 to 4 and this is the switch where uh, you can select 5 6 7 and 8 and the uh, four uh, consecutive glasses and here are the indications of uh, sample number 1 to sample number 8 1 2 4 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, if any gloves failed in the testing then uh, these uh, lamps will glow uh, if uh, that uh, which glove uh, the first gloves which failed in the test uh, that lamp will only glows and after that if uh, we want to uh, show the voltage in the KV meter uh, then we have to press this push, memory push button here and uh, uh, if we press this uh, then the value in which uh, the gloves failed that will be shown in the uh, this kv meter and here is another key which is reset key uh, after uh, showing the value in kv meter in which voltage it failed the re we have to press the reset key and start the operation from starting and this this three years uh, the, here it is HT on indication, this is HT on push button and this is HT off push button. Okay. So uh, uh, here, uh, here is now uh, we have to connect it uh, to 230 volt single phase line uh, from here, from this side you can see and here are some connections there, uh, two sample number 1 to 4 two sample number 5 to 8 and two transformer unit so in case of sample number 1 to 4 we have to connect the wire in these four buckets 1 2 3 and 4 these uh, four buckets and uh, we have to connect number 5 6 7 and 8 there is also the marking uh, we have to connect and in case of uh, to the transformer unit we have to connect to this L1, L2 and V terminals. Here are ferrule markings are there also L1, L2 and V. Okay. So we have to connect this and uh, at last we have to connect the grounds, uh, external ground. We have to connect uh, the external ground to the transformer unit as well as the control unit. The same ground to be attached here. So after the connections uh, we have uh, now we will start the testing so here we have to start from main switch so at first we will make it on after that you can see here 
this is uh, input supply voltage uh, and uh, this is the kV meter uh, these are the milliameters okay so <clears throat> now uh, here we have another special function that uh, uh, we can see the voltage uh, we can sorry we can see the milliampere leakage of each gloves in this meter so how it can operate it? Uh, in case of we need to check the uh, milliampere leakage in uh, 7 kV or 8 kV of each gloves so what will we done we have to uh, put it in a single position uh, like this is in 6 and this is in 2 so we can check at a time two gloves milliampere leakage at a time so uh, at first we have to turn on the HT push button and increase this variac by rotating clockwisely so here is now we are putting uh, 6 kV or we are putting 8 kV we can put up to 20 kV but these gloves are of a lower range that is why we are putting 8 kV on this and we will see the what is the leakage current so here we have to press the press to read milliampere for gloves number 6 here is the leakage current you can see 4.5 milliampere leakage so if we have to test uh, the leakage current is uh, gloves number 7 then first we have to uh, decrease this dimmer to 0 and turn this off after that we have to start on this uh, we have to turn this into 7 now we can see the leakage current of number 7 uh, sample number 7 and uh, now we are starting on this HT on push button and increases this up to 8 kV now you can see this is 8 kV and for number 7 uh, sample under test this is the leakage current so uh, here you can also test for number uh, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4 any of the any of the uh, uh, sample under test so uh, when when it is uh, when uh, gloves uh, failed in testing then what happened uh, then the HV will trip off uh, rapidly so uh, when the HV is tripped off uh, then uh, we can understand it by this way if the HV tripped off then this is basically HT off ok so if the HV tripped off so the KV meter will be will not showing that value in which uh, it tipped up so what we can um, uh, show in kV meter by pressing the memory push button we can see that in this k voltage 7.9 kV the uh, sample under test failed so this is uh, a special addition to this testing instrument so after that um, after each testing we have to uh, uh, turn uh, we have to uh, rotate the variac anti clock wisely and make it zero and after that we have to turn off the HT and after completion of testing we have to turn off this main switch